know, just to get a little bit more color, I, I do, I do want to talk about concentration. Are you familiar with the degree of concentration in the positions held by major investment bank traders in the silver and the gold markets? And do you think that any particular position in those markets is more concentrated than should be allowed? And whether that degree of concentration facilitates market manipulation? Uh, well, it has been in the past, uh, in, in both precious metals actually, I've seen very large concentrations. And when I say large, I'm talking about, you know, orders of magnitude larger than our position limit proposal, which is roughly 10% of a market. So in the silver market, I've seen 30 plus percent held by one trader. I'm prohibited from saying what trader that is or what type of trader it is even, but it's a, uh, somebody who uh, has a large concentration and I believe speculates in the market. I've seen it significant, not that high, but in gold also. But these are things we look at all the time, and particularly those traders that have large concentrations, we want to see what they're doing, where their positions are, and how they're impacting markets. And when they royal or when they have the potential to royal markets, we step in and look at it with a fine-tooth comb, Lauren.